April 10th, 1130 p.m. Update on this asteroid situation. A lot of people are, are sleeping the wheel here on this one. Here's why. Two hours ago, I posted this video. Space weather, Wednesday, April 10th. This, this was at. Okay, two hours ago. That was the picture of fireballs reports, right? So this is what's changed. I mean, just recently. This is what it looks like now. Two hours later. That. Now we have fireball report being released. This is, check out the date, okay? Oh, they updated it Thursday. And now they have all these fireballs report and those are red ones those are look at the orbital of this asteroid that they're expecting in 2 30 eastern standard time 1 30 central now i was checking out some other videos on my side i put some links here some other guys are reporting it thank god you got the earth master the programming he has it has a hitting somewhere information here from one of these uh, near earth object sites and it does show the earth here and 2024 gj2 we put this into motion it pretty much just goes right into the earth <laughs> no matter how i look at it and on this model it shows it coming out the other side right about here how it's gone in okay and that model has it hitting the pacific ocean right off central america it just goes directly into us the center of this impact 2024 gj2 appears to go directly into us um it looks like somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean is what it looks like, at least according to this to this model here. Okay, he got that. I wish he would have zoomed in on it. I wish he could zoom in on it. No, it looks like the Pacific, according to that, that if I'm reading that right. Okay, the next one was the one basically that about six hours ago was World News Report today. This space rock was only spotted yesterday and they've just released information after just a few observations. Okay, they're saying it's small. Regardless, if it's three meters or five meters or who knows, it could be bigger. It's the speed. The speed. This thing is traveling. What well, they got it here, 14.37 velocity. Okay, 32,000 miles per hour. Miles per hour. 32,000 miles per hour. The speed of a bullet is 1,800 miles per hour. Let me repeat that. 32,000 plus miles per hour and the speed of a bullet 1800 so if we do the math just just round it off 32 take away 2 30000 miles per hour more than a speeding bullet if if worst case scenario you got to take this in consideration now if nothing happens god thank god but if something does happen if it hits the pacific ocean over there by central america by california area or off the coast of florida let's be realistic here need to pay attention to this need to report this okay if something like that was to hit okay at that speed it will reach the crust the cushion of the water okay that speed is too too i remember seeing a video and i wish i could find it done it this is where the other guys we need to all come on board on this one i was going to do a comet update but i put that on the shelf this is important this could be this could be catastrophic so don't be fooled by the size it's the speed and the splash it could cause a tsunami it could cause earthquakes we don't know and we got that new information this right here just post it. That means there's a swarm. There's others because they just caught this one. How about the others? Where did this swarm just all of a sudden just show up? That's 18 fireballs. And normally, I you know, I follow space weather for a long time. And they normally put these asteroids. If you look at my prior videos, I've covered them. I've, well, I've been watching space weather since it started in 1996. So that gives you an idea how uh, they normally put an asteroid after it passed. After. This one, they're giving us a heads up. Read between the line. They're giving a heads up. And then an hour or two hours ago, they posted this after I posted my video. It's obvious. Something's up. Something's happening. I'm, I'm still scanning for others that, that to do better research, to have better better apps better better software connection with other that provide more on this information let's see if they change anything on this asteroid you hit you go on here you hit on this let's see if they change anything nope they still got this at a okay. but at least they gave us a heads up world news report they have it a seven so in other words they don't know so there it is the latest and the weird thing about this image is well it's coming from this direction it makes a curve have you ever seen an asteroid make a curve so like it make a turn it gets the earth and then it makes a turn a little bit see that but if it doesn't make a turn like the other program show like this point where my pointer's at without making a turn okay there it is at that time without making a turn
So who knows? It might be the Pacific Ocean. Okay, until next time. I'm keeping an eye on this because apparently things are changing by the hour. Bet father out.